At this point, my wife Ginger is about 17 weeks pregnant, and we are faced with one of the most important decisions of our lives, because this kid needs a name. Yes, we are currently deciding on a baby name for our unborn child, whose gender is yet to be determined. Although from this picture, it totally looks like Jason Statham. But that's the problem. Right now, we're just referring to it as, well, it. Like, how's it doing? Which is fine, but that name has already been taken. <laughs> Not to mention the name we choose has to go well with my real last name, which is Colonymous. And unfortunately, you know what sounds good with the last name Colonymous? Nothing. But as we began to dive into the popular baby names of today, I quickly realized something. They are all absolutely ridiculous. Seriously, I couldn't find a single John or Paul or Madonna in the entire bunch. Which made me remember the classic George Carlin stand-up routine. Taylor, Tyler, Jordan, Flynn, these are not real names! Now, before we get too into this segment, I do want to apologize in advance to anybody who has been named one of these, or has actually named somebody one of these. I don't mean to offend you or your kid, but we're probably going to. Let's begin. First up, we have the most popular girl names that my wife Ginger likes. Remember, this is a woman who was named after Gilligan's Island, so I expect her to have some empathy for name torture. So we have Amalia, Annika, Arabella. All of which sound like they stepped right out of a Disney cartoon. Ruby, Penelope, Violet. Not bad, but Violet Colonymous sounds like a medical procedure. Mila, Piper, and Chloe. So far, Chloe's my favorite. Chloe Colonymous. It's an alliteration, and if you say it fast enough, it kind of blends together. And now for the boys' names. We have Caden, Caden, and Caden. No need for comment. Carter, Connor, and Asher. If this kid happens to be raised in the back nine of a country club, then those names are perfect. How about Wyatt? Yes, but only if he's born with a six-shooter and a handlebar mustache. And then there's Miles. You see, I like Miles, but then my wife said it's gonna be hard to name our child because she wants to see what it looks like when it's born. And then I said, in that case, we should name it Fester. And how about the baby's due date? Shouldn't this have anything to do with the baby's name? Well, ours is December 26th, so we should name it Raj, as in right after Jesus. Or how about this? We can go completely obscure and name it after our favorite movie characters. But unfortunately, neither Satine or Falcor Colonymous really rolls off the tongue. But there is a reason why I'm so picky about this kid's name, because although you may know me as Ben, I am in fact a junior. So for 18 years, people called me BJ. And that is a terrible thing to do to a child. So we are currently in baby name limbo, but we still have a little time to figure it out. But it is interesting to see that names like Daniel, Christina, and Michael have been replaced with Jagger, Amaret, and I honestly don't know how to pronounce this. And in the end, we may just go with something completely out there. Something that represents one of the first things this child comes into contact with. A family name. Like Fallopian. Hey, 